Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, my name is Freed Brown. Welcome back. So today's tutorial is going to be a recreation tutorial and it's a celebrity recreation tutorial which is my all time favorite. So today I've recreated Deepika Padukone's look from the movie Baji Rao Mastani. So this is a look from her song Mohe Rang Do Lal and I absolutely love how beautiful she looks in this particular look. She had this like glass skin texture with like very minimal makeup and the moment I saw, I always wanted to create this look and finally I did it. So yeah, without wasting the time, let's get started and let me show you guys how I created this glass skin, very minimal uh, makeup and you do not need too many products to create this look. So without wasting the time, let's get started and today for my skincare, I'm using Vitamin C Serum from Pixie Beauty which is my all-time favorite product and I've been started using this from last two months and i absolutely love how this gives a very glowy texture to my skin and hydrates my skin as well we'll be moving forward to the moisturizer now you can use any moisturizer according to your skin type i'm using mark jacobs youth cake i do not use this youth cake on day-to-day -day basis but sometimes i love using this moisturizer this has a little thick consistency but it is super good for the people who have dry skin now let's move on to the face oil i'm using farsley rose gold beauty elixir and for the natural glow i just love this serum how natural and how amazing like glow it leaves on your skin so that's why i love using this so just using like two three drops and then very gently massaging it on my skin now i'm not using any primer today i'll directly dive into the foundation so today for foundation i will be using a lani conceal plus perfect foundation and i will also be using an iconic london highlighter mixing both of these together now make sure you are not taking too much of highlighter just use a once like a pea size drop with your foundation and then very gently apply it all over your face sure guys you are not taking too much of highlighter because if you do that your face like you're gonna ruin your makeup so you just need to add a like pea size amount of highlighter into your foundation mix it well and very gently apply it all over your face and also cover your neck area now if you take too much of highlighter honestly it's not gonna look good and we definitely want our makeup and our skin to look super natural so i'm just taking a very very like a pea size amount of highlighter now using a foundation flat brush i am applying it all over my face and also covering my neck area because i want my neck and my face to look similar like same now once that is done i'm going to be using a damp beauty blender and very gently just dabbing the beauty blender on my skin and setting my uh, foundation and also blending it out at the same time now make sure you're not dragging your beauty blender you're just dabbing it on your skin so that it can very gently blend out on your skin and look super natural let's move on to our concealer so for concealer today i'm going to be using a l'oreal paris infallible concealer which is a full coverage concealer and very slowly i'm going to be applying it on my inner corners and outer corners little bit on my nose bridge and then also on my forehead nearby my lip area so light and then cover my decolorization and pigmentation near my lip area and then using the same damp beauty blender i will be uh, blending out the concealer which i applied now you have to follow the same steps here again you don't have to drag your blender like upwards or downwards you just have to go into a dab dab motion for the powder today i'm using a milani banana translucent powder applying it on the entire face but mainly focusing on the part where i've applied the concealer like on my under eyes then a little bit on the lip area like nearby my lip area the nose and the forehead very gently applying it now here also i am dabbing the powder just pressing it a little bit into my skin so that it can set i'm also using a big powder brush and taking very little bit dusting out the extra and then in a circular motion i will be applying this powder all over my face and also on my neck area 
now let's move on to our eyebrows so i'm using nyx professional eyebrow pencil in the shade espresso uh first using a spoolie to brush out the eyebrow hair and then i'll start with lining out my eyebrow and on the three-fourth part of my eyebrow i'll start filling in and doing the same thing on the other side for the contour today i'm using a fenty beauty contour stick you guys have seen me using this like every time because i absolutely love this the stick is super pigmented very good for our day-to-day -day basis and does not like over contour your face so i absolutely love this one this gives a very natural effect and then using a contour brush i will be just blending out this cream contour which i applied i basically focus on the like my jawline and then also a little bit on my forehead area a little bit on my nose now let's move on to the blush so for blush today i'm using a physician formula blush and then using a blush brush i will be applying it on the apple of my cheeks now as for the video it doesn't look like she had blush or even the contour on her face but i'm still doing it as a part of the makeup and very like i'm just using a very less product and then i'm going to be using a very basic everyday eyeshadow palette you can use any eyeshadow palette which you have and i'm going to be using a very like nude shade from the palette and then applying it on my eyelids which is like which should be super similar to my skin tone so that my eyelids do not crease out using a big blending brush i'm applying that fix my makeup i'm using a makeup setting spray from nyx cosmetic leaving leaving it on for like two three minutes and then moving forward i'll use a little brownish shade like a peachy brownish shade from the palette and i will apply it on my lower lash line because again as for the video it looks like that she had a little bit eyeshadow on her lower lash line now for the waterline i am using a nyx uh, pencil in the shade gold now this will open up your eye that's why i am using this shade also curling my eyelashes and the eyelash curler which i am using is from the real techniques for the mascara i'm using my all-time favorite product which is a legged lashes mascara from huda beauty now this has two sides so i'm using the first side which is curl and length so it's going to basically curl my eyelashes and then provide a little length to my eyelashes and uh the next thing which i used was a volume side which will provide a little volume to my eyelashes now once that is done i'm using a spoolie and just brushing the spoolie on my eyebrow hair so that it can just create that natural effect on my eyelashes and it doesn't look like that as if i've applied a um, mascara now for lipstick i'm using both the lipstick from maybelline the one is the crayon one and the other one is super stay the shade which i'm using is amazonian and other is like edge like live in the edge and both of them are like super nude brown family colors for highlighter i'm using a true blend highlighter and the highlighter will add a too much glow and the natural effect to your face so that's why i'm using a little extra highlighter today and then using a highlighter brush i'm applying it on the high points of my cheeks on my forehead on my nose bridge and nose tip for the hairstyle it's gonna be a very basic hairstyle so i have partitioned my hair uh, like the uh, middle parting and then very gently combing the hair so that there are no tangles and i'm going to be making a very basic braid at the back of my head uh, just like how we do a normal choti so i'm just making a very basic braid now i have short hair so you guys can see it's, it's definitely a struggle to do a basic braid or any braid in short hair and then using a rubber band i'm going to be securing my braid and then uh, if there are any hair fallouts or like any hairs coming out so you can definitely use bobby pins to secure them and just make them look neat and clean i've also added mang tikka i do not have the similar one so whatever i had i just added a mang tikka i did not add it any earrings because she was not wearing any earrings i also added a little round nut so that was guys that was my final look just uh I've tried figuring out like doing the jugar thing even in the jewelry and the outfit but i think the look turned out pretty well i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope you guys find this look super good and super 
easy peasy and just in case you guys recreate this look after watching my video please make sure you guys tag me on your pictures on instagram i would love to see your recreations i'm gonna catch you guys super soon with a brand new video and make sure you guys subscribe to my youtube channel also follow me on all my social media handles the direct links are mentioned down below till then take care stay safe bye guys